Afternoon, good evening. Welcome to Karaoke Moments, where today we will be looking at one of the oldest churches in England here in UK, and it is also has very historical history, you know, uh, history about the church. And this is Saint Albans Church here in Albon City, Hertfordshire, in UK. And as you can hear, the bell is going. There's a service that is going to be there. There's an activity that is going to be there. But we are here to just learn the history of St. Albans Church. What does it mean? This church was started in the over more than a thousand years ago and it was to respect and in honor of a man called Albans who was martyred, the first British martyr that is was beheaded due to his Christian faith and stand between the third and the fourth centuries. He was uh, one of the people at that time who converted from a pig. He was a pagan, converted from being a pagan to uh, Christianity. And uh, he walked with his uh, faith. And this is what we are going to be discussing today. We want to welcome you, follow with us and watch. Uh, if you're new in this channel, we want to thank you for being able to find us here. Welcome. And uh, this is in this channel, we discuss life conversations where we believe that life is a journey you walk in it subscribe in our channel if you haven't and if you are um, a returning subscriber we want to thank you for being able to find a moment to come back so saint alban church at the background is uh, a church that honors the first british man to be martyred, to be killed for his faith. He was known for his stand uh, during the Romans, Romans rule here in England. And uh, he was standing for his faith and after converting from pagans into a Christianity, he believed in the one God, he believed in uh, Jesus Christ and he stood for his faith. He was even hiding people who had the same faith, who were coming to uh who are pronouncing their faith from paganism to their faith because they were being killed by the romans so he stood for his faith he stood for what he wanted he used to hide them uh, so when the uh, uh, the rulership of that time recognized that that is what he was doing he was called upon and uh, arrested and asked to denounce his faith but he refused he said he is a Christian, he is still going to believe in one God and is going to stand for what he believes in. So due to that, he was taken on top of a hill and he was beheaded and killed. That is in the centuries of our third and fourth. So in that history, it means it's more than 1,700 years ago. So this church, in respect of that with time, it was built. It's one of the old churches here in England. And as you can see behind me, the structures, it is made up of uh, rocks, meaning at that time, we didn't have the technologies that we have today of uh, the bricks that are mixed with cement and factory made. Yes, you can imagine of a thousand years because that's how old this church behind me is so you can see the works of it we are going to be walking close but even from a distance you can be able to see the works of it and the church itself is over a thousand years it's uh, quite uh, interesting when you follow the history of uh, in, in the church history that Albon was able to stand for his faith for what he believes in and was able to defend it and was able to say no he will die for his belief and he will die for the belief of one God and what he believes in. It's a nice place to be. As we come, we are still learning about the church history. Beautiful building. Let us hear also more about how it started and what happened. It's never a dull day for karaoke moments, even as it is a cold day. We are having some showers. Uh, we had to dress up for it. There's a jacket, there's wellies. I know these ones, we call them gambuts in most parts, but here they're called wellies. So we had to dress warm. It's raining, but at least it has stopped for a few minutes as we should to still continue showing you about the St. Albans uh, Church. So this is the one of the entrance, like the central entrance towards the church and the church is right over there. 
and we also have uh where we the main entrance to my left where we go through so this church from this rear end where we are if you look at the very top where we are having a flag that is the oldest part of the building yes the whole building is old it's of um 1200 years ago oh but when you look at it where we are having the flag that tall part of the building is where it started the other ones were extended as well yes they are as well as old as a church but you know when a church began when the church began saint albans began that is where where the flag is that is where it was started and then it extended all in commemoration of uh, saint albans albans this man remember when they were martyred someone of christian faith was martyred became a saint so that is how albans became uh, St. Alban and that is how the town then became St. Alban because it's in respect of the man himself who was a Christian who never denounced his faith and who stood for what he believed in. In spite of his even the threat of the death he still retained that he's a Christian that made this town be called St. Alban. Actually it is the second most expensive city here in the UK after London so it's very very historical and it is hard for sure. So the entrance to as i'm walking you can see we are having a sign post there welcome uh, to central entrance on this side and when we, we go on that side it is showing you go to the high street of st Auburn city and then this is where we have a small library and where we are going to be having the, some books and history part of it when we, i go up the stairs this is one of the oldest you can see the building you can even see this is literally stones that have been cut, just cut from the, they are the chips from the stone. Very, 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 nothing has been made. This is natural stone, very old building. And then this is the arch of one of the entrance. This door, when you look, this is a wood, like literally very hard wood. Yeah. And then we are having this arch. This is also stones. Uh, yes, we have some inscriptions and designs. If you look at this side you can see the artworks you can see the pillars that have been made and uh, the doors the two doors that are main entrance and we have even the church services that have been displayed there if you follow me we will come and try and see how old it is because it's not knocked down it's not renovated this is the original part of it and this is how it was made originally that is over 1000 years ago there's a pillar there's a beautiful beautiful shape that is over there then if you follow me all the way this is the entrance part and those two doors this is how it is look at that arch there look at the pillars there are several and look at the pillars this gives you the entrance point it's a beautiful building old building in respect of saint albans yeah so this is the back side of the church and you can see how magnificent it is look at the top windows and the artworks of it uh it's the windows are way up above the floor and uh, from the back side you can see the small tower there then you can be able to see the stones the original stones the arts nothing was uh, done to the stones it wasn't uh in the times of brick over 1000 years look at the uh, the dividing pillars in between as we walk across and even the ground is very well maintained because this is the back side the ground is also very well maintained we have a small park that surrounds the church that people can be crossing over and uh, on this back side of the church and now you can be able to see how we saw from the front side now we can be able to see from here the oldest part of the building which includes is a tower this building is over a thousand years old and uh, yeah in spite of it being a cold morning we had to dress up for the morning you know try to get some hats to keep warm a jacket some wheelies because it was really raining in the morning so yeah but you know what determination is key in life isn't it and life is a journey walking it so if you look at it you have some uh it's like clear i think that has been done remember we have some few areas that they could have added a little thing but all this is the old building that is over a thousand years and this is literally still still that made this a small fence here it's very old very old still 
and we have this tree looks quite old i know it's a couple of maybe hundred of years because if you look at the back the back of the tree is peeling off it looks quite old yeah how they say that you can tell the age of a tree i'm not a specialist but i know the back of the tree looks quite old but yeah that's it god knows how old it is and uh, yeah they've really tried to maintain because the the grounds are well maintained the church itself is well maintained they can only refurbish or maybe do a few repairs but the entire building is over a thousand years old what i know is uh, in the church history this brings life the respect the honor the the way they used to sacrifice and they used to respect those initial missionaries or people who started with the history of the church that you can Im imagine yes he was the first british uh matthias who stood for the faith of christians but after he was beheaded killed by the rulers of that time they decided much later because they decided much later after maybe 700 years he was beheaded in between 300 between third century and fourth century and after a thousand years uh this building is uh, old as uh, like 1000 so they decided to respect him the whole of this city is even named after that matter that's why it is saint alban city we are grateful as part of the history of also the church and learning and for our children our children 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 generation the importance of sustaining buildings i hope our countries would learn from this and continue sustaining and maintaining buildings and investing in them hey by the way from wherever you're watching from do you have uh buildings that have been maintained and kept for history for your country i hope so because like this one is helpful otherwise how are we going to know about it beautiful grounds you can see in spite of the age of the building the church compound is very well maintained the grass it's neat it's clean you can feel the uh, interest of this building the interest of the people who have contributed to it we want to be very grateful i think we can learn from it most of us and even many people come from very far to visit this city being the second most expensive one after London. So it's an important place to be. By the way, when you tour UK, it's a good city also to visit as Karaoke continues to unfold and continues to know places in England. As you know, Karaoke, we have a tagline that we say, life is a journey, walk in it. That life conversations, life happens, walk in it when life happens. So are you a new subscriber in this channel? Please thank you so much for coming and find a place in your heart to subscribe and continue sharing our videos. So we are inside now the church, the St. Albans, and we just want to see the finishing now, what's happening inside. And right behind me here, this is one of the altars. The, uh, you can see how the finishing is, the beauty, the lighting, and uh, we have the a choir where they sit right behind there that is where the choir usually stand and on top of that that's the organ whereby when they are blowing their music it can be come out from the organ the organ musical instrument and uh, yeah you can see also the pew this is the inside part of the church we have the chairs where the congregants usually sit and they are very well arranged and this is wood and seems like very good type of wood even it has some steel how it's connected so we remember in church history um people were allowed to be buried in church so we have a few uh tombs of uh, the initial years where people were uh, buried and uh, we have a few of them which usually shows the name some of them even uh the writings maybe could be uh not be seen but you can see like this one this one is for 1814 and there's another one right ahead here whereby uh it was in um july uh, uh july 16th uh the person who died was 60 i think 65 years old uh yeah and that was in 1744 so yeah as we continue um all this side now where i'm standing is a great side. there are very many names that are on top and people just come to see the church history as we go around you can see the many names and as i said some of them 1812 some someone else here i'm seeing was buried in 1838 
so it's part of the church history at that time them days they were allowed to be buried in the church inside actually the church some we had graveside outside the church and most of the time it was those ones who had maybe a greater commitment or who chose to be buried in churches so yeah it is uh, just a finishing that is very interesting oh and now uh, when you see some places we have they have done some few renovations we were being told some as old as 100 years but because the church is over 1000 years old for any renovation of 100 years they feel that is new wish i know i know that is still old uh, many years ago uh, because it means it's in the 1900s maybe or early 2000 but to them that's newer part of the church renovation but the stones still remain they've not done anything to it so that's the floor part of it um yeah it has not been knocked off but for it to be as old as uh, over 1000 years that is still very well maintained and that is the warden area warden of the church you can see their space it's even written where they sit so that's a set of the pews. You can see the artwork at the roof of the church. Yeah, on this side, that's the inside of the church. Oh, and the pillars, they're beautifully made. So we are going towards, and um, they're very friendly to the disabled. We have a ram that those ones who are using wheelchairs can use, and we have a small step there. So we go past the altar now. We are going to, it's still another entry point because the church has realized it has a lot of uh, entrances. So we just cross through the doors and uh, we go behind it. Yeah, so beautiful. This is also some inscriptions on it. And we see, oh uh, yeah, that was in uh, 1708, wow. Yeah, that's also another one. Ooh, then we have a tomb here also of Hoja, and that was uh, um, a Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Roger was a constant advisor and friend of Abby and mentor of holy women. Oh, that's Roger, 1708, still over 500 years ago, very well maintained. And so the flooring. We continue we are walking on the tombs of them days oh this is another door look at that it's still made with very hard wood but this is still uh wood but the the knobs are still or oh, is it iron bars very strong and then the pillars remember this church over a thousand years so and right behind me here on this side we have some photos of oh, the the church also has very many volunteers who help to continue passing the history that is one interesting thing they get on passing it uh, to other people and that is why history never dies because they are able to pass it yeah but also you can see this uh, is just part of the just refurbishing, but the stones that have made it, the stones inside are the original cut off from stones from the ground over a thousand years. Beautiful, it's very beautiful. So, so many entrances. So, now we are going to another main entrance from the high street because it has many, a couple of entrances we are seeing, but it's all, they are all taking people out of the building. So, yeah. This is another one. Oh, and now it is towards a cave. It's, they also have a cave for the building and the toilets, definitely. This is another way out. There is a cave, there is a shop and toilets. There is also another door. Oh my, look at that knob, quite strong. This is this must be the ones of a thousand years. They've not even been used. It's just more of a hook. And that is it. Then we have the it's even the description of that door it's a, a pair of doors that is over it was done in the early uh in the years of 1400 so for 1400 years that is uh 800 years ago wow beautiful yeah very beautiful i love the passion of maintaining their buildings and then we have also another altar now here which uh, because we say there are very many wings you can see the chairs they're beautiful beautiful chairs we have a pulpit where readings are made and uh, you can see the wax on top of that pulpit that has been done very colorful on top of the pulpit it makes it beautiful wow 
the decorations they are very good and then the back side of the same part of this church and uh, yeah this turns very beautiful very beautiful this turns well maintained yeah but it's still part of the 1000 years ago so it's over 800 years ago even with a few refurbishing they say the whitishness we are seeing it's not because the building is new it just may be trying to cover and make it a little bit good but very old building we are grateful to have a moment to be able to see in our generation such a well-maintained church We continue touring, we are still inside, there's a small gate here that allows us to come through and then we come, some flowers, some finishing pots and uh, the pari parish poor box, a carved figure, replica of the valuable original holds out his heart over this poor box. This poor box they used to put arms in the year 1660, you can imagine that's over 600 years there about ago. Then we continue going up. So uh, that is a very old uh, radiator. This is a very old radiator from the look of things. That is there. And that is the finishing. Uh, we have some inscriptions there. Some radiator maybe uh, to just to show how they kept warm because it looks like an old radiator. There's no inscriptions, but the shape is like a radiator. Then there's another door. You see the steel we are talking about. Just steel, wooden, metal bars, securing it, but this one is locked, we cannot access. So when we are going up, this is a ram, maybe for those ones who may find it difficult to use the stairs, maybe the ones with wheelchairs, so anybody can access this. Everybody's taken care of. Oh, beautiful. Then these are the shrine areas where people can go to pray. Uh, these are the shrine areas of the um, St. Alborn. And then here, the bars, the finishing. The bars, very secure, strong steel, just part of the beauty. Oh, the church is huge. And then, yeah, we are having a small gate there. Continue. Remember, there are many uh, altars and many wings. It's a very huge church. So this is another wing that we are crossing over to find also another wing. Look at still at the beauty, the, how they finish. The many different designs. The many different ash. Is this chandelier? <laughs> the different uh, bulb stands and bulb holders. Very different ones here. So it's grateful. We come and see also one of the shrines. As uh, it's being told, it's a, sh a shrine is a place where a saint is buried. So where we feel their presence. So Saint Alban was buried on this site. That is 1,700 years ago. As he was there living and fighting for his faith in the years uh, the second, the third and the fourth centuries thereabout. Yeah, it's a beautiful place to be. Yeah, different types of art. You know, the roofings, the height, the walls, just very well made. Yeah, very good. And people come here also to pray. Yeah, good. So this is good, yeah. The tour was good. We've been able to see and uh, get into are uh, seeing the St. Albans Church and we want to thank you for your company continue supporting Karaoke Moments and those of Christian faith continue knowing that there are others who are there before you and we are grateful for nexus to our faith and to continue standing for what we believe in we want to thank you continue uh, watching our videos and subscribing to our channel because this is where we have life conversation and we believe Life is a journey, you walk in it. Never stop believing. Never stop. God bless you.